Big computer, also known as a server. This is a Dell PowerEdge R610. It's got dual Xeon X5670s for 12 CPU cores and 96 gigabytes of RAM. You know, you could run your databases on here or host your website or play Crisis and Cyberpunk. Well, I mean, in theory, yeah, it's just a computer, right? With those kinds of numbers and specs, you'd think this thing would be maxing out games, 4K, ultra settings, 200 FPS. Except that this is 16 years old, and maybe it's not that simple. Sure, there's lots of CPU cores and there's lots of RAM, but are the CPU cores fast? Is the RAM fast? Is anything fast? Can it run games at all? We will get to the part where I cram a graphics card into this 1U server somehow and then put it up against a modern gaming PC. But for now, I want to see what this thing can do as is and then compare it to an era equivalent desktop. These were both made in 2009. This with its dual Xeons and the free computer with its I guess kind of mid-range for the time, Core 2 Quad Q8400. Now this HP Compact was never exactly a graphics powerhouse or anything, but I think it'll do surprisingly well compared to what is essentially, well, this just has the bare minimum that you need to get a VGA output at all. This has basically no graphics acceleration. This doesn't even have onboard audio, like, it's made to be sitting in a server rack and never looked at. I could be wrong, but I don't think there's actually a display driver you can load on Windows 11 for this server. We're just using the Microsoft Basic Display Adapter driver, and it's not working very well. Not even the Windows UI can run properly on here, minimizing stuff like goes in sections, which really gives me hope for running 3D games. I'm going to attempt to load GTA San Andreas because it's very old, and not too picky about settings and resolutions and stuff. We'll see if we get anywhere. Wow, it's actually loading. That, that actually doesn't even look broken, does it? Okay, the frame rate's kinda low, but what would you expect? Defaulted to high quality. We're gonna drop that down to low and drop the draw distance a bit. It says it's running at 25 frames per second. It is lying. There is no way this is even close to 25 frames per second. The screen tearing is crazy. I've never seen this game look this bad. I'm on the free computer now and the Windows UI actually animates properly and we are running at 1080p this time. It also shows that we're using the Intel Q45, Q43 Express chipset. So this will actually have 3D acceleration. In GTA San Andreas, the frame rate is still bad. We're getting like 26 frames per second, yet somehow this is actually playable. The screen tearing's gone and it's way, way smoother. How did I accomplish this? Yeah, this works way better. Cool, good stuff. I think that means we need to test some other stuff. Let's try something newer. You know what, let's go for it. Let's try to load Crisis. I changed all of the graphics settings to low. We are getting like nine frames per second. This is, I'd say this is pretty playable. Back on the free computer and Crisis is kind of having a frame rate crisis. It's getting eight FPS. This is actually pretty similar to how the server was. Not exactly ideal. Testing an actually modern game, BeamNG Drive. I'm trying to load the grid map. We'll see if it does anything. That might be the longest I've ever seen BeamNG take to load. And so far we're reporting zero frames per second. We're apparently going 26 miles per hour, but we're not getting anywhere fast. Okay, BeamNG crashed. We didn't really get anywhere there. I don't know how this is possible. The free computer's worse. It will not launch BeamNG Drive at all. Apparently we need DirectX 11, which this doesn't have. But the server has DirectX 11? How does the server have DirectX 11? That doesn't make any sense. Anyways, I wanted to test Half-Life because it has an option for software rendering, but apparently my game code was already activated and I can't put the disk in the server because I took out the DVD drive to put the boot SSD there. 
Anyways, I think it's time to put a graphics card into the server. Let's see what it can really do. I started by cutting the end of the PCIe 8X slot so I could plug in a 16X riser cable. And then I plugged the graphics card into the riser and a power supply into the graphics card. And that did absolutely nothing when I tried to turn it on. But a few minutes later, Windows loaded and I got the drivers installed and it actually works. I now have a very old server with a slightly less old gaming GPU, the NVIDIA GeForce 1660. Back in GTA San Andreas, I'd say it looks a little bit better, but you can be the judge of that. We're now running at 1080p, very high settings and getting 130 frames per second instead of like 18. Pretty solid improvement. I'd have to say, I also think Crisis looks slightly better here. We're in the 1080p high preset and we're getting like 60 to 80 FPS, pretty solid. Not only does BeamNG Drive actually render some frames now, it's totally playable on here. Although I did kind of expect the performance to be higher. We're only getting about 50 FPS on the medium preset. I wanna see what this GPU will do on a modern computer for comparison. And yeah, the more modern desktop with its eighth generation Core i5, despite only having six CPU cores that don't even do hyper-threading, Frame rates are significantly higher here, up in the 80s and 90s. This is quite a bit of a better experience. Let's try the free computer. Would you believe me if I said that it was worse? I mean, obviously it was gonna be worse than the modern desktop, there was no avoiding that, but it's also worse than the server. It's only getting like 20 frames per second here. Not very good. Now for a modern game that's also from a big studio. I am attempting to load Cyberpunk. It looks like we've defaulted to the high preset. I'm not gonna touch anything. I believe super resolution's also turned on. We're actually not being limited by this computer at this point. The graphics card is getting fully utilized and we're getting like 40, 45 FPS. I'm gonna turn down the graphics settings a bit to see if we can push that a bit farther. Actually, I may have to correct myself. We're no longer GPU limited. I turned down the graphics settings and we're still only getting like 50 frames per second. I think that is the most that this thing can do. On the more modern desktop, back with the high graphics preset, this experience is slightly better. We're getting around 60, 70 FPS, which is a bit higher than the 50 the server gave us, but honestly, it's not that different. On the free computer, yep, yeah, it, it's worse. Doesn't launch. So if you can get a graphics card plugged into one of these old servers, you can play games on it. And if it were still 2009, you would be outperforming a mid-range desktop you might find. However, with it no longer being 2009, we don't even have to go fully modern. This desktop that was outperforming it was made in 2018. And it did that with a fraction of the RAM and a quarter of the CPU threads. There's a lot of reasons that this is true, and I don't know enough to tell you all of them, but there's a few notable ones. As it would turn out, there's more to CPUs than just core count and frequency. Uh, apparently, uh, but the frequency is higher on this desktop by quite a bit. So despite having less cores, each of the cores is faster and, and better, in theory. And while the server has lots of RAM capacity, it's not very fast RAM, can't transfer much data very quickly. It goes a lot farther than that with stuff like CPU cache, instructions per clock, and architecture improvements. Whatever that means. The important point here is we have successfully played games on an enterprise grade server from 2009. I wouldn't recommend it. A modern desktop computer, you don't even have to go that modern apparently, performs a lot better. So you should not buy one of these as a gaming computer, even if you find one for cheap that has a lot of CPU cores and a lot of RAM, you're gonna be worse off than just getting like a decent computer that's not a server. And yeah, that is a server with a graphics card for some reason. I don't know, leave some comments. Bye.